Liz Donnelly here, your family fitness guru, and I have to tell you guys about something that is absolutely infuriating to me, and I don't get mad that often, which is a good thing. Um, I got an email last night that um, a place where I purchase, you know, some organic foods from time to time, especially if they're locally, you know, produced, like grass-fed, free-range beef. In fact, I've got the leftovers of a quarter share of a cow in my freezer right now in the basement from this particular place. It's a co-op. It's a little farmhouse uh, sort of southwest of here um, in a place called LaGrange, Ohio. And these little, these farmers um, have offered this co-op for a number of years now and basically are allowing other people to share in the savings of organic foods, okay? Well, earlier this month, in December of 2008, they got raided by the ever-compassionate and, uh, <laughs> whatever, Ohio Department of Agriculture. They came bursting in their home without any announcement, brandishing guns, you know, by the police officers who were with the Ohio Department of Agriculture agent or agents. I don't know how many there were. And this family has 10 children who live in their humble home. I've been to their home. Uh, they don't live on uh, an easy street. It's just a very, uh, you know, run-of-the-mill kind of a farmhouse. And they kept these people hostage in their home, not for one, not for two, not for three hours, but for six whole hours stuck in their home at gunpoint. And in those six hours of time, they stole their computers and the food that they were selling through their co-op and they also took all of the family's inventory of food. I'm sure including the grass-fed beef, which for some reason that was coming up as a problem. Um, how would you like it if somebody from the government or anywhere else came into your home at gun, gunpoint, took your stuff in front of your eyes and your food out from under you and your kids? and did it legally, you know, because they're an agent of the government and they have guns and you don't. Imagine that. I am so ticked off that they got away with this. If you look down below, you're going to see a little recap and a link from the Buckeye Institute. I want you to go there and check out the whole story. There's a video that Jackie Stowers and her husband, John, have done, you know, to indicate what, what all went on. And if they give me permission when I pick up some food from them early on Christmas week, I am going to give you some more inside scoop directly from Jackie herself or whoever will answer my questions. Um, so stay tuned. Post your comments. This ticks me off. And the only thing I have to say is, way to go, Ohio Department of Agriculture. You guys suck.